Dream family! My name is Christy with Funsta Orgs, and today I'm super excited to introduce Barbara, okay. who's our marketing assistant, and she is actually going to be talking to us about her top five favorite church fundraising ideas. So uh, I'm gonna let Eric take it this time. What? <laughs> Obviously, some of you have seen our videos before, but do you know anything about church fundraising? Because I don't. I know nothing about it. I know a little bit about church fundraising. So what is your experience with church fundraising? Well, my experience with uh, church fundraising is that I am very, very active at my church. It's a non-denominational church, and I help with their digital media team. I help with communication. I help with events. I also go to a lot of uh, faith-based conferences like The Passion for college students. It happens every uh, first of the year. I also go to a lot of different cool events with different you know, Christian artists and different Christian actors and musicians and things like that. And so we always put together events to try to raise money for our cause. So it's an awesome experience. All right, that's a lot of experience. So, and especially today, we need somebody with a lot of experience to help us because our church communities need a lot of help, especially because government spending has been cut on things like soup kitchens uh, for people that have addictions and also for our senior citizens who need help from the church and for anybody that can help them. So we're really excited to figure out a couple things. So Barbara, tell us your favorite fundraising ideas that we can do from the church community. Well, my number one idea is coffee. Do you like coffee? I don't like coffee. I never drink coffee. Right, okay. Wow. I'm actually out of coffee. So a really cool idea is having a meeting and you know with meetings with your leadership and your, your pastors and your you know the, the leaders of your group. Everybody. Everybody, exactly. Um, when you have your meeting and there's a lot of coffee there, instead of just giving out free coffee, put a donation box there and then you guys can give donations or get your congregation to give donations for a cup of coffee. Every great steaming cup of coffee can be a great fundraising opportunity for your church. Yeah, and if people spend $4 at Starbucks, they're more than willing to spend a dollar at your church. Right. So that's one idea. What's your next idea? Hit, hit me. But don't hit me. I don't know where that was. Well, I'm not sure, actually. My second idea? I'm pretty hungry right now. Yeah, me too. I just yeah. drink a lot of coffee. So. Right. Yeah. Okay, so my second idea is you can put together a dinner or a lunch, and you can do anything. You can do a fish fry. You can do a pasta dinner. Just invite your whole congregation, and then you can have them pay for a plate of food. Yeah, and a donation that way, or a pair of shoes. Right. For a plate of food. Yeah, that's actually I have like I can give them one of my shoes now, and another shoe later for coffee. Or two plates. Or two plates of food. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because the shoes could go towards like a shoe drive fundraiser, or like the donation itself could go towards your church, but that's a really good idea because everybody's got to eat. Right. No matter what it is. And everyone needs shoes. And everyone needs shoes. So that's two ideas. Two ideas. So for the third idea, the food made me hungry. And one of the I have an idea. What if they did like a Super Bowl fundraiser? Now, this is just throwing something out there, but you could do anything from the Super Bowl, you could do the World Cup, you can do any kind of sporting event depending on your congregation and what mm -hmm. they like, but you could show it on the big screen if your church has that in its auditorium and have people maybe do donations to come in and have a huge Super Bowl party. Because everybody does Super Bowl parties, everybody does World Cup parties, but to be safer and to be around your church family, maybe you could do something like that. And you could donate with money or donate with shoes. My with church has lots of pizza. Yeah, see, pizza, whatever. And you have food and drinks and a game. And shoes. Yeah, so that's three. I came up with the third. So what's your next idea? My next idea, I love spreading social good and giving back to the community, that's right? Sweet. That's nice. So um, what about, a really good idea is um, compassionate camping. I've never heard of that. What is that? So churches mm -hmm. will get their congregation to go sleep outside with their homeless community. And the reason for that is because um, we want to show compassion and we right. want to show them love and you know, Okay. Compassion and love. Compassion and love. Okay. So how does that work? How does that make donations towards the church? There's a couple ways you can do it. Okay. You can do a straight up donation. Right. You can also remember those times when we were in school and then we had like five Ks and so forth. Right. And people would give money every time you would run a mile or two miles two or four mi miles. Exactly. exactly. I remember that. Exactly. So the same thing with this compassionate camping. Okay. okay. With this compassionate camping, we'll be sleeping outside for hours and every time I sleep outside for an amount of time, that's how much money you're giving. So if I sleep out for five hours, maybe you're giving me $3, $10 per hour. I got it. So you go around to your community, you tell them you're doing a compassionate caring event and every person signs up for however much they want to donate per hour. And then at the end of the event, you go back and say, hey, look, I did six hours. And then they give you, that's cool. That'd be really nice. And all the money goes towards homeless. It goes towards a church helping the homeless yeah, in the community. You, you that's it. a really good idea. I, I like that. So wait, okay, so that's four ideas. So what's, what's the number one idea? I think the number one idea is... A shoe, shoe drive, drive fundraiser. fundraiser. With funds to orgs. If you guys don't know what a shoe drive fundraiser is, you've been living under a rock and not watching any of our videos. But 
Like we went back and said, any of these events can be done as a shoe drive fundraiser. You can take shoes and not just money as donations. And with a shoe drive fundraiser from Fund.orgs, it goes towards whatever you want. So with Funds.orgs, it's very easy. People don't have to open up their wallets. They simply open up their closets and they take any gently worn used shoes and donate it towards your cause. Funds.orgs then picks up the shoes based on the poundage and donates towards your church or whatever you're raising money for. Based on the pound of your shoes, we cut you a check. So it's easy. You just collect shoes. We pick them up. We give you all the materials you need. Just go on our website down below and it will tell you what you get from us free of charge. And then we send those sneakers to developing countries to micro entrepreneurs where they can raise money for themselves and their families and help their community as well. Mm -hmm. So it's not only raising money for your church, it also raises money for the world, which is somewhere we all live. So we should take care of it. We can be socially responsible. Yep, socially responsible and socially caring. Yeah. So once again, my name is Eric. My name is Barbara. We love to meet you, Barbara. It was a pleasure working with you. So next time, make sure you click on those buttons down below. First off, give us a like, share, and subscribe. And until then, see you again soon, guys. Bye. Bye. So obviously some of us, some of you, not us, we've never seen our videos. Right. We don't watch that one. I can be obnoxious as much as you. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> a streaming cup of coffee would be great. Have a cup of coffee? It's easy when you're not doing it.